iPhones are all over the place. With the recent release of iPhone 13 series, we were all stunned with the new gimmicks that Apple had brought to us. But where did it all begin? How many years did it take Apple to build an empire that can be held in your hands that boosted their company with billions of dollars? Let's find out. It all started way back in 2007. Can you believe that 16 gigabytes of original iPhone is all you could put on? Admittedly, not nearly as much data was still available on the iPhone and no App Store. But unlike the flip and slider phones of the time, you had internet access on a screen, and only 128 megabytes of memory could handle it. This 2.0 megapixel camera was awful, but a camera telephone, that's an innovation. After that, they had the iPhone 3G. The iPhone 3G wasn't much different from the original iPhone as far as internal specs are concerned. There was, however, an App Store now. The 3G connectivity of this iPhone meant that the internet access was actually available without throwing the iPhone across the room. After that came the 3GS. Apart from the first iPhone, Apple introduced the 32GB storage option with the iPhone 3GS. The introduction of the App Store obviously quickly changed things. 16 gigabytes wasn't going to cut between photos, music, and apps. The camera has been upgraded to 3 megapixels and video capture. They changed the game with the iPhone 4. The first iPhone with front-facing camera was the iPhone 4. Apple didn't know much that selfies were going to take over the world. The Retina display is also on the iPhone 4. It is equipped with 512 megabytes of memory to handle much more than even the iPhone 3GS with a memory of only 256 megabytes. You can see that the technology was starting to look a bit familiar, but the maximum storage capacity for the iPhone was still 32 gigabytes. Then came the iPhone 4S. Discuss the huge difference between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4 from 5 megapixels on the camera to up to 8 megapixels. Talk about an upgrade! Apple has also added a storage feature of 64 gigabytes while maintaining memory at 512 megabytes. Then you could record video in 1080p. Apple then introduced us to the iPhone 5. In its first week, Apple sold 5 million iPhone 5 units. The camera has been the same, but up to 1 gigabytes of memory has been boosted. 3G connectivity was pretty cool and almost fast enough, you thought, but then came LTE connectivity on the iPhone 5. The Lightning iPhone 5 connector was also introduced by Apple, and the screen grew larger from the first time. All displays of previous generations were 3.5 inches, but the iPhone 5 was 4 inches. Then came the 5S and the 5C. Apple sold 9 million units during the first week of sales between the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. The iPhone 5C had a plastic shell that was intended to be slightly more economical. There were four colors, but there wasn't too much of it. On the other hand, Touch ID, Dual Flash, and Slow Motion Video were introduced on the iPhone 5. Moreover, the M7 Motion Compressor was included, opening up a new field of opportunities and saving battery life as well. In 2014, they introduced us to the iPhone 6 series. The biggest difference was the size of the screen that was much larger and the size was even bigger. The Retina display was converted to HD and an iPhone with a storage capacity of 128GB was also available. But the memory was the same and a megapixel upgrade was not seen in the camera. The 6S changed it all. The iPhone 6S has been upgraded a lot by Apple. The camera took a big leap from 8 megapixels to 12 megapixels. Also, memory from 1 gigabyte was doubled to 2 gigabytes. Apple then introduced us to the iPhone 7 and 8. The base models of iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus with a 32 gigabyte storage and up to 256 gigabyte storage starting finally came down from Apple. Due to the new dual camera, which enabled significantly improved zoom functionality and the portrait mode, a software update that enables users to take impressive photographs using depth of field, the iPhone 7 Plus proved more popular than previous Plus versions. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus introduced us to wireless charging with the glass cover on the back of the iPhone. 
The camera was great with up-to-date image editing tools. By automatically reducing blue light exposure, the True Tone display improves the viewing experience. Which led us to the iPhone X series. Skipping right over the iPhone 9, Apple introduced the X and XS and XS Max. All models had the portrait mode selfies front-facing camera. The screens were edge-to-edge -edge and the Super Retina HD display looked great. The biggest upgrade from X to XS could be the smallest. The Bionic chip A12 increases processing power while the battery drain decreases. Then they had the iPhone 11 series. The iPhone 11 is the cheapest of Apple's annual lines but still has plenty of new features for the most popular iPhone in 2019. The system is available in 6 crisp colors with a 6.1 inch liquid retina display. The second camera, 12 megapixels and wide and ultra wide lenses on the back of 11 can be the most exciting addition. Then, lastly, the iPhone 12 series. The 6.1 inch iPhone 12 has exactly the same characteristics, camera specs and processing capabilities as the 12 mini. In addition to this mid-range model, the dual lens camera is good enough for daily users. But for those who choose their iPhones for their camera capabilities, Apple has included some life-changing upgrades to their iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max high-end devices. That is all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this and much more. We will see you guys next time. Take care until then. Goodbye everyone.